Hey y'all, so in today's video, we are gonna be doing a fun project. This is gonna be a cute little DIY. It is the last day of school today for my first grader. And because she did not go to kindergarten, thus she did not have a kindergarten graduation, I am gonna be doing a fun little celebration here. I'm going to set up on my kitchen island a gift just to acknowledge her for all the hard work that she has put in in the first grade all of the great things that she has done and some gifts that she can take into the summertime so that she can enjoy herself at summer camp and just all the good things that are coming her way so that is what we are doing today i'm so excited that you guys are here and oh let me introduce myself i do diy projects and i talk about the life lessons that i learn that go beyond the lumber and the power tools so if you are a creative if you like DIYs, or if you just like listening to the inner dialogue of a stressed out mom, then please subscribe. All right, and so with that, let's jump into things. Let's go shopping at Walmart, y'all. I'm excited to put this whole gift together, but that doesn't mean I'm trying to ball out of control. So I'm pretty much buying everything at Walmart so that I can ball on a budget. Speaking of balling on a budget, there were so many good things here. It honestly took me a lot longer than I thought it would to find everything I wanted since I just kept finding so many good options. I found this cute water bottle and was planning to buy it, but I ended up finding a different bottle for a fraction of the cost and it was giving more summer vibes for what I was planning, so I ended up picking that one up. There were so many options here. I know I spent way more time than I should have just looking at every water bottle so that I could make an informed decision. I grabbed some sunscreen since I know that she'll be at camp and she will need it. I also found some goggles since they'll go to the local pool every week, which then reminded me that I wanted to get her a new swimsuit. And I know that this is not just a Walmart thing, but what is up with kids' swimsuits these days? Why are there so many cutouts? What are we what are we trying to emphasize? There were some really cute ones, but then there were also some that felt really unhinged to imagine my seven-year-old in. After that, I actually got a little bit nervous and stopped recording, but I will give you the full rundown of everything that I bought at the end. Whew. Okay, I've got probably an hour to set all of this up, so we're just gonna jump into things. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. Okay, this bag is gonna be like the base of the whole thing, so I need her to work with me. I think we're going to set this up. I wish I had something to like sit in here to give it more structure. Let me see if I can find a cardboard. Well, actually, so I bought these pom poms. Okay. Truly, I'm wasting time. But <laughs> so oh, I'm just gonna use this cardboard box and give it hopefully a little structure in here. Make it a good filler. I feel like I need something bigger. Let me, hold please. Okay. I went out to my recycling and I found these bags, or these boxes. And then this one. So, because this is kind of clear and I don't want her seeing macaroni. Also, do other people keep all of the gift wrapping paper that you stick in the gift bags? Whenever the kids or, or myself or my husband get any gifts, I keep all of the tissue paper because who is paying $3 for a pack of this when most people just throw it away? I don't know. Maybe I'm just that level of frugal. Let me know. Let me know if you're the same. Someone validate me in the comments because I can't be the only person hoarding gift wrapping paper. Also, best believe when this is done, these babies are getting folded and put right back in the bag. It's reduce, reuse, and then recycle. So, we gonna reuse, baby. Okay. Let me take a little break. 
Okay. Whew. The hustle is real. Also, get you one of these fans because it's summertime, it's hot, and those electric ones are gonna die. And uh, these are top notch. I keep this in my purse, in my car, <laughs> in my satchel, in my I. You will not find me, oh, thank you. You will not find me without a fan, especially in the summertime. It's Texas, it's hot. Okay, now let's try this. So, we're gonna shove this giant little pillow in here. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. To sell the excitement, I'm trying to go like up and then out. And so, this feels right to me. And then I think I'm gonna take this light vest I got this light vest on Amazon, but they did have them at Walmart, but I already bought it on Amazon, so. And then I think I'm gonna drape this. No, maybe not. I think I'm gonna put these like here in the front. So while I arrange and rearrange how I want to set up this gift basket, I wanted to talk a little bit about everything that went into the gift basket. So in this whole end of school year gift basket that I put together, I got a beach towel, a water bottle, sunscreen, swim goggles, a new swimsuit, a cute comfy pillow, a life jacket, a leotard, some pom poms, water shoes, lip balm, a workbook to prep for the second grade, and some new sunglasses. All of this put together, I actually came in at just under $100, which I was really impressed. I felt like I this was all a steal. I feel like I really balled out on a budget for this whole end of the school year gift basket. This is very cute. I'm liking this. Now, balloons. Okay, so I bought this from Amazon um, earlier this year for my son's birthday. And I kid you not, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's all put together, but I kid you not, if you do not have one of these, then you need to buy it because it's like, it's so good. I will show you in a minute, but it will save you the money of having to go to like Party City or something and have them put helium in your balloon, which apparently there's like a helium shortage. I don't know, I don't ask too many questions, but um, but this is great. So here, I'm gonna put this together and then I will show you what it looks like. Okay. And so this is what it looks like. It's just this like plastic stand. So good. And then we add balloons. Okay. I should have stretched this before. This is always very stressful for me. But yeah, this is so great because you can just hook the balloons right onto the thing and they stay. I think it's all coming back of like exactly how this thing works. And so I probably need It's probably good. hoping that this works like it did last time. It's been a couple months since I did this. Okay, we'll come back when I'm a little further along. So I finished the balloons, I did some final zhuzhing, and here is the reveal for my end of school year gift basket. final product you guys I love this so much it truly came out exactly how I pictured it in my head so I am thrilled to see baby girls reaction to this hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you got some tips tricks inspiration motivation or you just enjoyed the vibe 
I will see you guys with my next video very soon. Bye. I gotta go cool off. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Robbie, you put yours on. Ooh!